Hello, my friends, this is Kurt Berglund, and if it's Monday morning at 10 Central, it's time for my weekly baseball book review. Every Monday at this time, could be fiction, could be nonfiction, could be out of print, could be hot off the presses, or it could be somewhere in the middle. I review a baseball book that I think is worth your time and treasure. And this week, it's all part of a theme week. A couple of weeks ago, I did a theme week, just like Merv Griffin used to do. And if you know who Merv Griffin is, you know that he was heavily into theme weeks. Uh, for the 2016 Chicago Cubs, I reviewed a book on the Cubs, and we did a couple of cards and dice baseball simulation games during that week for the Cubs, and we're going to do... The same thing this week. The team that we're focusing on is the 1975 Boston Red Sox, one of my very favorites. And later this week, we're going to do, I don't know, a couple cards and dice baseball games, different game engines with the 75 Red Sox as well. So it's going to be a 75 Red Sox week on my channel. And for my book review today, I have my favorite book about the 1975 Red Sox. The book is called The Boys of October. And the writer of the book is Doug Hornig. The publisher is Contemporary Press. And the publication year is 2003. I'm going to put all that information in the description of this video below uh, so you can check that out when you want to i bought this book online for about seven dollars um, it's very inexpensive at this point this copy happens to be signed by the author and it was still seven dollars so uh, take that for what it's worth the uh, work for this book began around the year 2000, the 25th anniversary of the 75 team. And he was able to interview all of the members of the team and the coaching staff that were still with us at that time, except for Jim Rice and Carlton Fisk, who refused interviews. Everybody else talked to him. The focus of the book is on the World Series. But the interviews that he did covered a wide range of uh, space on the team. A lot of stories that are very interesting. I really enjoyed uh, the contributions by folks like Louis Tiant and Daryl Johnson, I thought, really had some interesting things to say about the team and about the personnel. Uh, on the team. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot. I'm, I'm into managers anyway, uh, but I did enjoy uh, Johnson's uh, comments about the team as well. Uh, there is an index in the book, which I always think is very important. There is a list of resources about the book, so if you'd in the near the back of the book, so if you'd like to do more reading about the 75 Red Sox, there is a list of additional sources that is near the back of the book for you to check out as well. There is a section in the middle of the book of black and white photos of the team, some of which I had not seen before, and I've got a bunch of books on this team, and I've seen a lot of the photos uh, from that season. But there were some here that were new. Uh, the writer talks about, Doug Hornig talks about uh, the uh, series and the team from a personal standpoint, um, which I liked. I thought it was really good. Uh, he talks a little bit about the times of the mid-70s, but he doesn't get wrapped up in it as some writers can. And I find, as you know, if you've watched my reviews, I find that highly annoying when we get caught up in the history of the time and get too far away from the history of the ball club that the book is about. There's a basic section of stats in the back of the book for the 75 Red Sox. And there's a little bit here about the Reds, the 75 Reds, uh, of course, because he's writing primarily, but not entirely, 
about the World Series itself. And so it's, uh, it, but this is a book about the Red Sox. Um, if you're interested in the 75 series, it's a good book for that as well. This, and I, again, I've read several books on the 75 Red Sox, 250 pages, about a little less than 250 pages, and an excellent read. I find it hard. I found it hard the first time I read it to put down. I reread it again in um, January, and I, again, I found it difficult to put down. Um, it's just well written, well researched. The questions of the players and the coaches, I think, are really good, and it shows the passion that the writer had for the subject as well as a considerable amount of background knowledge about how the team did during that season. I like the whole thing, recommend the book very strongly to you. All right, that is my book review for today. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. I need your subscriptions to keep my channel going, my friends. I do appreciate it very much. And don't forget to come on back later this week for some cards and dice baseball sim action of the 1975 Boston Red Sox. Have a wonderful Monday, my friends, and so long, everybody.